right, I'm going to make a quick tutorial on how to make a 10 minute runner. A five minute and a 10 minute runner are made exactly the same. They're just two different sizes. One's long and one's short. So that's the difference. So I've got this really pretty fabric that I got from the Quilted Cow. When you order a 10 minute runner from them, it comes with instructions. So you get a little card within it with instructions, but you can also order the helpful heifer pattern, which gives you the instructions so you can use it with your fabric at home. First thing I'm gonna do is iron this bad boy. We gotta trim off that selvage edge. Okay, so I wanna show you, this is a five minute runner. And like I said, it's just a little shorter. But one of the things I do is sometimes I don't like a big fat border, especially when I've got a really nice center or depending on what I wanna use. So all you have to do is trim your background fabric. And so I'm just gonna take an inch or so off my background fabric, just so I have a little bit of a thinner border around. Now, if you want a wider border, you just cut a wider piece of fabric or you know, leave it as it comes in the kit. So when you're making a 10 minute runner, you're basically making a tube. So I'm going to take my fabric and I'm gonna line it up on this side of my tube and then I'm gonna line it up on the other. All right, so you can see that I've sewed one side here. Now remember, I'm making a tube, so I'm gonna bring it up and I'm gonna line it up again, smooth, smooth. All right, so I'm going to turn this inside out. Super easy, this is just a big giant tube. And then I'm gonna go iron it. And what I wanna do when I'm ironing it, almost looks like a pillow, doesn't it? Um, what I wanna do when I'm ironing it is I wanna make sure that these two ends are about even when I'm ironing it. Okay, so you have two options for the final steps. You can fold it with your panel running out like this and you sew up the sides just like that. Then when you turn it like this, you end up with that beautiful accent fabric showing more at the ends. Or you can sew it like this, and when you turn it, you're going to have that middle panel showing more. And that's what I'm gonna do for this one, so you can just see the difference. So here is the difference when you sew it like this. My pretty fabric becomes the point on this one because I sewed it with pretty fabric in poke this one out too. I'm just gonna use my finger and then I'm gonna go iron it. But then you can kind of see the difference. So it's really pretty. Hope you enjoyed that video. Like and follow for more. And remember, these are available on the Quilting Cow website.